What's going on guys? This is Ryan Hammer and I'm going to be giving you my three best Cinderella teams for March Madness that I'll be betting on in a tournament. The first one is going to be the Murray State Racers. They are the seventh seed in the East region. And I know the East region is tough. In my opinion, it's the toughest region of all. They're going to have to play San Francisco and then Kentucky if they want to get to the Sweet 16. Kentucky's literally their big brother in state Kentucky rivalry. But I think that the Racers are poised for a run. They're top 40 in offensive and defensive efficiency in the Kempom rankings. They have experience. They hold opponents to 30% from three. Back to that experience, KJ Williams and Tevin Brown are one of the best inside out duos and honestly, one of the best duos in general in all of college basketball and they poise a threat to any level of team because they play so well off each other. This team is built just like they were when they had Ja a couple years ago, low in turnovers, high in field goal percentage, and they could get that matchup against their big brother in-state rival Kentucky in the second round like they want, just like Loyola did last year with Illinois, and I think it's going to be tough, but Murray State could be dancing to the Sweet 16 and possibly further. Another really experienced team, we go to the eight seed in the Midwest region. That's the San Diego State Aztecs out of the Mountain West. They just lost to Boise in the Mountain West Finals. They are on a hot streak, very underratedly because they didn't win their conference final. They've won 11 out of the last 13. They're going to have to play Creighton, who just went to the Big East Final in the first round. And then if they win that, the Big 12 champions and one of the title favorites, Kansas Jayhawks, which will be tough. But Kansas has struggled at times this year, most notably versus disciplined, really athletic defenses like Baylor and Texas Tech. Texas Tech has the number one defense in all of Kempom in the country, and who has number two? The San Diego State Aztecs. They let up 58 points per game, 38% from the field in their opponents, 30% from three, which is absolutely mind-boggling. The offense is what holds them back, but they've been kicking up a little bit in the second half of the season, and I think Matt Bradley, averaging 17 points per game senior guard, is good enough. Their offense is not great. It's good enough, like I said, to go far, and I think they could beat Kansas and possibly go beyond that because the Midwest region, as John Ralstein says, is the region of vulnerability. And I think anyone, and I mean anyone, even eight-seeded San Diego State, could come out of that and go dancing to New Orleans. For the third potential Cinderella team, we are going to stay in the Midwest region with the South Dakota State Jackrabbits, the 13th seed. They have a favorable matchup against Providence in the first round. Providence holds their opponents to 31% from three on the year, except for in their five losses, which they faced Marquette, Villanova twice, Creighton, and Virginia. Those teams shot 50%. 44, 48, 47, and 40% from three, much better than teams have against Providence all year. And South Dakota State is the best three-point shooting team in the entire country at 45% from three. They're unconscious. They have three 15-plus point scorers on their team. They are the only team in the country with that. They score 87 points per game, second to only Gonzaga in the entire country. And if they win that game, They'll play Iowa in the second round, most likely, who is the hottest team in the country. But that team is not a great defensive team either, so it will be a shootout. And I think South Dakota State's offense is just as good as Iowa's, if not better. So they will be able to keep up with them and hopefully run them out of the building. What's up, guys? This is Jordan Spieth. If you're watching this video, please like and subscribe to the FanDuel YouTube channel.